think 2D arrays are pretty cool. So if we make a new int array, we can think about that like this. It is three rows and six columns. Since we're using int, remember like when we make an int variable, it always starts with zero. Same thing with an array. They always start with zeros. So here I'll give it the variable name grid. And the variable can hold a reference, and then the reference references that grid. Now when we're going to access this, we can access it by x, y. So here we have indices, so that's the x value. And then within that, the second number will give us this, the uh, row, which is y. So like 1, 2 would give us column 1, or that x value, and then row 2, or that y value. And we always start the y at the top, so it's y equals 0, 1, or 2. I'm sorry, you might think that's pretty annoying, but that's a standard computer science convention. Okay, so here's the cool thing, is it doesn't actually look like that. So I'll make another grid, I'll call it grid two. So the right-hand side and the left-hand side of grid one and grid two are identical. And this is a fine way to think about it. That's how I think about it most of the time. But actually, we've got references in there to see how this is actually represented. So grid two is going to be the same thing. It's a new int array that's six by three. That means that the core, grid two, and actually grid, is a reference to an array of variables that can all reference an int array. So actually, each one of these is going to reference a separate three element int array. And here I'll make them vertical. Sorry, I have to use a mix of blues and whites. So grid and grid two, I created them the exact same way. They're an int array that's six by three. And we can picture it like this. This is the way I always picture it. And I use x and then y to go down to reference it. But the way it actually works is I have grid two, which is a reference. Here's a, my reference to this array right here. The array has six elements in it. Each of those elements references a three element int array. So if I was setting grid at index three, that's there and then at y value 2, that would set it to 6. Similarly, if I was using grid 2, I use my grid 2 reference to find index 3, so that's 0, 1, 2, 3, and then I follow that reference to my array to modify index 2. It's super legit to think about it like this, but I just think it's cool to see that it's actually made of references.